Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 138 of my FIFA 14 My Player Career on the Xbox One. And today's first game up is Away to Espanol. Can we get a victory? We won the last game in the Champions League against Grasshopper. A 2-0 victory that was and Kai Kwon got both goals. So he's in good goal scoring form. Can he score again today to make it a good goal scoring run? Two goals in his last game, so if he gets this one, it'll be three out of two. 16 minutes in, Kaikwam's got the ball in midfield. Twisting and turning there. And he's carrying on his run. And he's played through. Kaikwam on the ball. Cuts inside. Shoots. Oh, top corner. That's a great finish from Kaikwam. Carried on his run after winning the ball in midfield. And Barcelona lead 1-0. 18 minutes gone. Three goals in two games then for Kai. Will he get another? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. That's a great finish. Goalkeeper didn't stand a chance. Defence was nowhere. So Espanyol kick us off once again. Car comes on a 7 rating. His number 7 shirt as well. You need to get need to remember to change his shirt number to 52. I always forget when I change clubs. And an hour in. Car Crom on the ball. Playing it through for the assist. Oh, it's a great volley. And that's Barcelona. 2-0 lead now. Car Crom with an assist. He's got himself a goal already. And that's a smashing volley into the back of the net to make it 2-0. And that gives Kai a 9.2 rating then with that assist. And he's won the ball there. Straight from kickoff. Just over 10 minutes remaining. Still leading by two goals to nil. Kai on the ball. He's having a fantastic game. He's in really good form at the minute. He's on a 9.4 rating. Oh, no. And as I say that, he's just pulled up. It looks like his hamstring again. He's not long come back from a broken elbow. He was out for two months. He's getting old now and he's getting more injury prone. That might be his last action of the game, to be fair. It is indeed. Let's hope that he's not out for many games. Oh, actually, he's not out for any games. Straight back into the team. It wasn't much of a problem then. But we've got Villarreal next up. We're playing away from home. Three goals in two games for Kai. Can he continue that goal-scoring run today? And hopefully he doesn't get an injury. That's what I'm bothered about right now. So just over 10 minutes gone, Villarreal attacking, Kakom almost won the ball there, and again, stuck his foot in twice, Villarreal, cross comes in, goalkeeper parries it away, and it's come straight back, oh we only just saw that on camera, but it's poor defending, shouldn't, keep, shouldn't have even come back across to be fair, but it is, and Villarreal taking the lead, 15 minutes gone, 1-0 the lead. Oh, there. Shouldn't have even been able to get that back across. And it's a nice twisting volley. Put into the back of the net. Not sure who it was. But it was a nice finish. So, 1-0. We're down. Plenty of time to try and get back into this. Uh, not anymore because just two minutes to go. Go and put Kai through. Oh, my God. He could have put Kai through, but he's going in for the header. Goalkeeper got there before him. That's probably the last chance. Come on. Kai Kwam loses the ball. Shot, Kai, shoot! Yes, get in, last minute, Kai Kwam saves the day. 1-1, one, one. Kai Kwam scoring in the last minute, that's four goals in three games now for him. I thought we were going to lose that one, would have been another disappointing result. Got a bit of luck, but we always, every team needs that. De Bruyne's come on to replace Josh Sharif. And Kai Kwam has got an 8.1 rating then after scoring that equaliser. And he's won the ball there. Have we got time to get a winner? No, we have not. There goes the final whistle. Villarreal 1, Barcelona 1. Not a bad result for saying we was one goal behind. And Kai Kwam saved the day in the very last minute. So let's just check his final match rating then for that game. 8.7. One goal on the board for him. So that's five games, four goals, one assist. We need to try and build up these assists. We've got Malaga next up. Next up. Can he continue that goal scoring form? I think after this game, we're going to have a look at the Barcelona squad. See who's here. See who's new here. See if there's any new youngsters here. Remember, because we spent last season on loan at Arsenal, so there might be a, a couple of new players since we was a bit here before. Let's get these three points first, though. Almost an hour played. 
Still no goals as of yet. Carcon playing it forward. And he's asking for the ball. He's got it. Cuts inside. Oh, he scored again. Kai Kwon. He's in the best form of the season so far for him. It's been a while since he's been in such goal scoring form, actually. He must enjoy being at Barcelona, maybe. Or just in Spain in general. There we go. Nice finish. 1 0 then. Trey always been replaced by Lionel Messi up front. And 8.5 rating then for Kai Kwon after scoring that goal. And into the last minute, still leading by a goal to nil. Kevin De Bruyne playing it forward. Kai Kwon just got challenged. And there is the final whistle. Barcelona 1, Malaga 0. Kai Kwon with the only winning goal. And let's just check his final match rating. There's an earlier shot from the game. Just hit the post. 9.4 then for Kai. Great form he's in. So as I promised, squad report for Barcelona. 27-year-old goalkeeper Montoya 31 years old now uh, Dragovic 31 year old centre back 79 rated Mark Barter is still here at 31 uh, Digne 29 year old he's not too bad 26 he's pretty poor actually 25 year old Elliot Shashilva still here there's Kaikon 28 years old rated 94 overall his, his value is 66.5 million wow uh, Lacina Traore, 32 years old now. We need to buy a new striker, I think. Uh, Christian Tello, 31 years old. Josh Sharif, he's one of the best players at the club as well, 25 years old. Mason Bennett's still here, surprisingly. 76 rated, that's pretty crap. Frederick Sorensen, 81 year old. Uh, 81 year old? 81 rated defender. De Bruyne's 31 years old now. Lionel Messi is 35 years old. Still 88 rated though, so not too bad. Valued at 11.5 million. Jordi Alba, Begovic, Olia, or Oya, Niall. Nobody of. Oh, Juan Mata's still here, he's 34 years old. Uh, Jonathan De Santos at 32. Fabregas, 35 years old, only valued at £2 million now, rated 80. And there we go, back to the start. So not a bad team, could do with some youngsters though, it's pretty poor. But let's have a look at the, the league tables. Currently second in, oh we've got Manchester City in our group stage. And European qualifiers, look at that, England. Lost one, drew one. And we're currently three points behind the qualifying spots, pretty bad that is. We've got some good teams in there to play as well. But well, so far in the league, Barcelona are unbeaten, won 5, drew 2, lost none, 11 goals, conceded 5, 11 points, just one off the top where Real Madrid currently sit. And of course we won the Spanish Super Cup against Seville, 4-2. Thanks for watching guys, if you like the video please hit like, comment if you want to below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, peace!